again, I think um, because of the time and the introduction of some of the ideas from nation building, that you know this is our opportunity, you know this this government that we have uh, doesn't really work, and in the end, uh, you know it, it, all the power lies with the BIA, you know, and we had a number of tribal members who were in the BIA and were part of that system that, that continued to sort of oppress, you know, the tribe itself. So it was very complicated, but, um, and, and, you know, there were, and again, you know, uh, Chief Jim Gray, he was the principal chief at that time. He, he often talks about saying, you know, half the tribe, uh, you, you know, had uh, Stockholm Syndrome where we began to um, defend the BIA and what they were doing and that system. And so he was, a, he was a huge proponent of change and this is our chance for government reform. And so that's how the Ind Independent Commission got formed. And again, once we formed and we started writing articles for the newspaper, we started having community meetings. We traveled to California. We traveled to Texas. We traveled to Colorado, where there were pockets of Osages. We traveled and tried to engage people in the process. And like I said, even with that, um, you know, I think it really was about trying to talk to people about who are we as a people? Where did we come from? We used to be self-governing. Uh, how did we do that, that whole Osage cosmology? Yes, we've lost that, but we have an opportunity to draw from that and, and reform ourselves. And so um, people really related to that, I think. I mean, starting there, even though we didn't want to, we couldn't go back. You know, we lost so many of our customs and our ways. We couldn't go back, we knew we couldn't, but we said, what remains? And, and, and how can we take what remains and reflect that in a current style of government that we can all live with? And so there was a lot of, uh, you know, people have talked uh, about it today, but there was a, th th there was a lot of um, opportunity for corruption. You know, I always think, or where there's an opportunity for corruption, there will be corruption within tribal systems of governance or with any system of governance. That's the case. And so, you know, you try to eliminate those opportunities. You try to create a system that at least starts to eliminate some of those opportunities. And I, I think that that's, that that's how we began to look at it and talk about checks and balances. You know, we didn't have an independent judiciary. Uh, there was nowhere for people to go to for disputes.